Hello. Female infertility, besides congenital abnormalities of the reproductive organs, mostly results from ovarian failure, endocrine or immune system disturbance, obstruction of fallopian tubes or cervical canal, or a problem with endometrium which prevents implantation and development of the embryo. Of course, conception requires able sperm as much as functioning ovaries and uterus, so working on male infertility is another very important aspect of our practice. Among the factors preventing conception, female factors account for 60% and male for 30% of all cases. In approximately 10% of fertility-challenged couples, the cause of infertility cannot be explained and is classified as unexplained infertility. There are many important aspects to getting pregnant. Achieving a positive pregnancy test is the most important goal. A large share of work in our clinic is focused on conception. To achieve this goal, we essentially focus on gynecological and non-gynecological diseases that affect fertility. A unique therapeutic program is developed for each patient. This program is focused on achieving peak fertility performance, which is attained by balancing acupuncture meridians. Our acupuncture fertility program also includes the preparation of healthy eggs and sperm quite some time before pregnancy is attempted. Often, we would recommend to our clients to postpone attempts to get pregnant for three to six months while they are being treated. This is especially important if the risk of miscarriage is high or if there are conditions such as endometriosis or ovarian cysts which require the sort of treatment that is not conducive to conception. The second aspect of our practice is supporting early pregnancy and preventing miscarriage. From our point of view, early pregnancy support is just as important as procuring a positive pregnancy test. Focusing solely on the conception and no further is a short-sighted policy. A miscarriage has a draining effect on the body and hinders future fertility. Avoiding miscarriage and ectopic pregnancy are an integral part of an acupuncture fertility program. Another important aspect of our practice is working alongside the clinics specializing in IVF. For many couples, assisted reproduction technology is the only chance for bringing about a family. But even this advanced technology has great limitations. For example, the success rate for healthy pregnancy and live birth varies from 47.5% for women younger than 35 years old to 15.7% for women older than 41 years old. In our experience, the chances of successful pregnancy and live birth can be enhanced by undergoing an acupuncture therapeutic program either prior to or alongside with the IVF cycle. Couples preparing for the IVF experience a great sense of urgency and they feel that the window of opportunity is closing. However, dedicating three to six menstrual cycles prior to the IVF to regulate the menstrual cycle and stimulate the natural production of hormones pays very high dividends. If time does not permit, an acupuncture program can be created around the IVF cycle events. Acupuncture does not increase the number of eggs ovulated and cannot influence the genetic makeup of the egg, but it excels at influencing how well the eggs are nourished and stimulated to grow. It can also facilitate the release and promote the motility of the egg down the fallopian tubes. Acupuncture treatments improve the quality and thickness of the endometrium. We always encourage male partners to participate in the therapeutic program too because acupuncture can also influence the number, motility and genetic quality of sperm.